All right, you guys, quick intro to the video before we jump into it. So I did dye my Gossip Girl hair. Well, I bleached it and stripped it of most, well, some of the color. And uh, so far, it's holding up really well. I don't have any tangling or really much shedding, especially given that I took the hair out and I reinstalled it. So, so far, so good. Um, I will be depositing new color on top of it next month, well, next install, but I just wanted to wear this out for a while, especially for fall. It really, I like how it looks right now, so I'll leave it like that, and I will update you guys when I change the color and how I did that as well. Another thing, I am changing my location and my lighting and equipment and stuff because it's very difficult for me to film because I'm using natural light, so whenever I come home, most of the time it's dark already or it's getting dark, so I don't really have time to do videos. So definitely excited for that. Hope you guys will be too. And without further ado, I'll jump into the video. And oh, by the way, if you guys have any questions about how the hair is holding up after bleaching it, feel free to leave it down in the description box. But it is like, you can tell I'm running my fingers through it. No snags, no tangles, it's still bouncy. And of course, it might look a little less full. That's because this time I installed the hair with two and a half bundles instead of the full three. So I'll stop rambling and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, y'all, so I just kind of gathered all the hair together in a ball. Well, so I just separated them and untangled them. This makes the process of bleaching it easier for me because all the hair is all together, so I'm not like spreading it all across the room. And I'm just gathering everything together to mix, well, to make the bleaching stuff. Wow, bleaching stuff, Chima? To... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm making the bleach paste thing basically. So I got my 30 developer and the Wellis or Wells hair powder dye thing. Y'all, y'all can see it. So I'm just going to mix it all together and yeah. All right, now I'm taking everything section by section and I do this in the bathroom because, well, it's the best place to do it in my opinion. Like if you dirty anything up, it's fine because it's the bathroom. So it's no cr cross contamination or like accidentally bleaching anything like clothing or whatever. So I also put it on the aluminum foil just to make the process easier and because I'm going to be wrapping the hair in the aluminum foil later on anyways and disregard any hair shedding. Of course, I, I detangled the hair but I didn't do that well of a job so of course there's gonna be just random hairs coming out of each bundle as I rake the bleach through them. And I found it easier for me to use a um, thin comb like the one that I'm using just to make sure that all the product got through every strand of the hair and got distributed easily. And to be honest, I had that little brush coloring thing but I, did, I don't know where I put it. So now you see me bleaching the frontal and with this one I was kind of scared because I didn't want to like bleach it too high up so I kind of kept a couple inches away from the roots just to make sure plus I wanted to have darker roots anyway so yeah and with the frontal I actually dyed it um, second before last because the last bundle that I'm going to dye it was already lightly bleached because of the hair bleach that I had used on the hair previously so I knew that it was gonna take color quicker so I decided to do the frontal before that and you guys won't see it in this video because my um, camera actually died too well quickly well what my camera died and I didn't realize it, but I basically took all the bundles, including the frontal, and I wrapped it all in aluminum foil just to make the lifting process work a bit better. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did with that. It was pretty easy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know how to bleach hair already. I just wanted to show you guys how I did it just in case you were curious or if no one has ever bleached hair before. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below and I'll answer them all. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.